This is a beautiful 2017 on a 17 registration Porsche 911 991.2 Turbo. It's one of the nicest specified ones we've ever seen and certainly at the time of doing this video, one of the nicest specified ones for sale. Today, it's finished in this beautiful graphite blue metallic with two-tone graphite blue and crayon leather interior. And it's got a ton of cost options over and above a standard turbo that just make it stand out from all of the cars we can see for sale. It's covered in full front end paint protection film and it also includes lower side seals and up the rear quarters as well, which we'll show you as we go around the car. It's a full Porsche main dealer service history and it's just a beautiful example. Um, so let's start at the front end. We've got the PDLS Plus headlights with the automatic high beam assist as well. So they will raise and dip the high beam for you. And you've got that LED daytime running light ring around the outside and the four LED units in either side as well. And then being a point two, you get this updated lower front bumper section with these two narrower individual uh, LED. Again, these double up as indicators and daytime running lights. So they're very cool there. And if you have a look in the center of the front bumper here, you'll see the radar. This car's got adaptive cruise control, which is a big cost option. Again, not many available with that at this moment in time. And we've currently got the car sitting here with the spoilers extended. So on a lot of 911s, you just have a rear extendable spoiler, but on the turbos, you get this extra air dam down the front here. So this comes down very nicely. You see it says, it might be hard to pick up on the camera, but it does actually have turbo uh, written in there. And that will fold away if you put the button away as well. A really cool feature on the turbos and it just looks beautiful in this graphite blue. Coming around the side, we've got these stunning uh, dual tone turbo wheels. So diamond cut on the faces with the gray on the inserts, the full color Porsche crest, and then the beautiful red brake calipers behind there as well. Again, the wheels make the car for us. They're a really good looking wheel and any Porsche with these wheels always is a good seller. Um, so it's really nice to know that you've got those. This car, another option that you can't really see on the car, you can if you know what you're looking at with the small indentations on the door handles here, but it is keyless entry and exit. And we'll quickly show you inside before we come back to, if I just pop it from the inside, we'll quickly show you inside before we show you around the PPF on the outside that we touched on before. So if you have a look at that two-tone graphite blue and crayon leather interior, and on the areas where you've got the graphite blue across the top of the dashboard, you've got contrast stitching in crayon as well, which is just beautiful. The steering wheel's in graphite blue, We've got the Porsche crest embossed in the headrests, full leather. We'll talk about some more of the interior options as we get around the driver's side, but whilst we're on the passenger side, uh, one that will be very hard to pick up on the camera, but is, uh, is a big cost option, and we've actually never seen a 911 with it before. But the interior trim, so across the dashboard here and down the center console, either side of the gear stick, are finished in the leather package. So these are actually all leather finished, which is just beautiful. We've never seen one like it before. Usually they're just plastic or aluminium, um, whatever. You, there's lots of different options for them, but it's very unique to have it in leather. And if you have a look at the rear quarter here, you might just be able to pick it up on the camera so you can see where the paint protection film comes up to these side air intakes, which again is iconic on the turbo to have those intakes there. And the PPF goes all the way down the side seals there as well and all the way up the A-pillars on the windscreen and across the top as well, which is quite unusual. Most people just stop it at the top of these A-pillars here. It's all the way across the top of the windscreen there as well. You might have noticed the car's got a blue hood. We will show you that when we get around the driver's side. And then again, as I said at the, at the front, the spoilers are extended at the moment. So you've got this really cool aero spoiler. Again, it's one of the few cars in our opinion where it actually looks better with the spoilers up. Um, it's a really cool way to do it. They've still got this almost sort of ducktail underneath and then this uh, individual spoiler that comes up. So you've got this gap here and then these three extra vents on top of the engine bay here. Again, unique to the turbos. The silver badging goes really nicely with the silver tailpipes as well. And again, because it's a turbo, you've got the quad tailpipes. So square tailpipes, two on either side there is really nicely finished. Uh, and then the parking sensors and a reverse camera under the, uh, just above the number plate there as well. And then coming around the driver's side, we'll jump in and we'll show you through some of the interior options inside the car. So as I touched on before, uh, it is keyless. So the doors are keyless entry if you just pop your hand behind the handles and you do have keyless start here as well, just on this dial here. So you can just twist that to turn the car on. But coming to the driver's door card, 14 way electrically adjustable seats with memory settings for the driver. Uh, so that's what those buttons up there are. 
Power folding door mirrors is a cost option as well, and then all electrically adjustable, as you would expect. And then the Bose surround sound system, again, an important option to have in these cars. And, and a very, another very important one, which is hidden very nicely in this triangle section on the door card here, is blind spot monitoring. So those three lights will illuminate orange if there is a car in your blind spot. A big cost option, very helpful for motorway driving. And I'll just turn the car on and we'll show you through some more of the interior here. So it fires into life beautifully. We've got the graphite blue heated multi-function leather steering wheel. So the button is hidden behind here. If I push that button on the right hand side of the screen there, heated steering wheel on is a lovely feature. And the steering wheel in this car is also electrically adjustable. So that will come out and up and down all electrically, which saves with the memory settings for the driver's seat on there as well. All multi-function. And then obviously because the car's got the sport chrono pack, you've got the uh, mode switch on the steering wheel here. So you can easily flick between comfort, sport, Sport Plus and then in an in individual mode as well. The huge aluminium shift paddles on either side of the steering wheel if you put the car into manual. And then if I turn the steering wheel to the left, if you have a look down here, you'll see the controls for the adaptive cruise control, which as we touched on before, is a lovely option. Coming to the center screen, the car's got navigation, as you would expect if I go onto the map here, Porsche's own navigation. If I pop it into reverse, you'll see that reverse camera we touched on before, and then a parking sensor display on either side there as well. Apple CarPlay, so if you plug your phone in, you do have Apple CarPlay on there as well. And then again, a huge options. If you have a look at the two buttons here, we've got heated and ventilated seats. There's not many with ventilated seats for sale today. It's a lovely option, especially in a convertible when you're in the summer, you can really make the most of it, having the roof down. And then your buttons over here for those spoilers that we showed you before, and you pass some suspension control there, traction control. There's an electric wind deflector, so if I push this button behind the rear seats, out will pop the electric wind deflector, which is really neatly done and hidden very nicely. You wouldn't know it's there if you didn't see it. And I'll just pop that away because I will run the roof to show you what the car looks like with the blue roof up as well. And it is really cool to have it finished in blue because it goes extremely well with the color scheme on this car, which is just so beautiful. It comes up very quickly as well. There's a roof over my head before, before I can even think about it. And they, the windows will shut and I'll just switch it off and jump outside and summarize what a stunning example this car is. So just under 21,000 miles from new, a full Porsche main dealer service history and an options list look is as long as you're arm, it's a beautiful example. Again, at the time of doing this video, it's quite important for me to say, I think it's one of the only cars that hasn't got a black interior. So it's, it's really quite unique. It's a beautiful, elegant example. That paint protection film across the full front end, up the A-pillars, down the sides and up the uh, quarter of the rear quarters here. It's just a stunning, stunning car. My name's Ben. I hope the video has helped. Thank you very much for watching.